Hey YouTube, this is Daddy O's Reviews, and I am doing a watch review today. So in my hands is my Date Just 2. So this is a 42 millimeter Date Just made by Rolex. Um, this particular model that I bought is from the year 2015, so it's about four years old at the time of this filming. Um, as you can see, it's a combination of yellow gold and stainless steel. And uh, interestingly, just before I bought this particular watch, Rolex added uh, a lengthier warranty. So this watch is covered by a five-year warranty by Rolex. Uh, I still have about a year left on that. And as you can see, I have the black dial with gold Roman numerals. Um, as I noted to you, this is a 40, I think 41 or officially a 42 millimeter watch, but it is very heavy because it has solid gold links in the center of the oyster bracelet. And then obviously the, the solid stainless steel throughout the rest of the bracelet. Uh, it has Rolex's milled clasp. Uh, and then also, on this generation of oyster bracelets for the date just, they included what they called an easy link, which is uh, kind of hidden inside here where my index finger is. Uh, it's a way to extend the bracelet by five millimeters. And so that means on a warm day, when your wrist expands and what otherwise was a, a well-fitting watch becomes too tight. You do the expansion and it creates, uh, creates some more space for you. So that is my Date Just 2. And I, as far as my, my knowledge of the details of the movement or anything, I know that it's a Rolex, I think it's a 3136 movement. Uh, it's been extremely accurate during my time owning this watch. It has uh, basically a 48 hour power reserve, which means if you don't pick it up or wear it in those 48 hours, it will be uh, not running when you do pick it up and you'll have to set it. Um, and then since this watch was manufactured, and I think just about two years ago, they came out with the Date Just 41, which is kind of the next generation of Rolex's larger face date justs. Um, and that includes a little bit thinner bezel. It includes a whole different set of bracelets, including a, an updated Jubilee bracelet. And it includes a new movement in the watch. Uh, as I said, this particular movement has about a 48 hour power reserve uh, and is extremely accurate. In my experience, this particular watch only loses or gains about a second a day, which is very accurate for a mechanical watch like this. Um, the new Rolex Date Just 41, actually it, uh, it includes a 70 hour power reserve in that movement. So basically you can take it off Friday evening after work, pick it up Monday morning, and it will still be running, which is kind of a nice feature if you don't have a watch binder. Um, I originally got this watch as my uh, first gold Rolex, and I was looking for a watch that I could wear kind of every day to work, um, no matter what the color of the other parts of my jewelry is. So you see my yellow gold wedding band. Uh, a lot of my belts have stainless steel buckles. Um, I typically wear cufflinks that are either gold or stainless steel in some capacity. And so I thought the two-tone watch would be good. And in that regard, it has been. I've been very happy with it. Um, and in fact, I, like I said, I've had this about four years and I'm contemplating getting rid of it or trading it in and going to two separate watches, a yellow gold watch and some kind of white metal, whether it's stainless steel, white gold, um, probably not platinum. Those are pretty expensive um, for what you get, I think. But but uh, something in that regard. And actually, I already have a yellow gold day date, which I'll do a separate review on, uh, which I like quite a bit. So I would be basically trading this in and getting uh, something in a white metal. At any rate, that I think is the end of my 
my review of my Datejust 2. Um, I will say that the, I guess I haven't really commented on the finish. You can see in the reflections there that the stainless steel has, has held up extremely well. Um, the yellow gold does have, does have some, some scratches as you'd expect. Um, and, uh, and then the bracelet itself has very little movement here after wearing this almost daily for four years. I think that's, that's quite a good amount of, of stretch in the band, meaning very, very little stretch in the band after that period of time. Um, let me know if you have questions about this watch. I haven't done a watch video before and those have been requested by my viewers. So this is the first. Uh, my wrist, that's another piece I guess I haven't talked about. My wrist is seven and a quarter inches. Um, and I think this wears pretty large uh, for, for me, probably just about the right size for my wrist. Um, at any rate, I think that's enough. Hope you enjoy and let me know if you have questions. Thanks.